I don't, uh, yeah, read out of it. Okay, what does it say in chapter 4, 157? I'm gonna check it. Like, yeah, check it. Without the translation. No, then I won't understand it. Exactly, so your, your basic... Our translation is perfect. No, no, nothing is perfect, my friend. No, it is nothing perfect. is perfect. Of course it's perfect. If it was perfect... Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is not perfect. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, yeah. he knew Arabic unlike you. But it was he perfect. He was a messenger. There you go, it's perfect. No, no, what do you mean but perfect? But you said no one's perfect. No, I said no one is perfect no, no, in the words. translation, the way don't you're saying. The words. I'm not changing, I'm talking about the context. Okay, well, for sure, talk to Okay, me. first and foremost, you need to tell me where Allah says it's impossible for him to take someone alive. Where does he say that? Because you're making that claim. That is, will Allah do this? That is your claim. Where does he say that it's impossible for Allah to do this? To take someone alive if he wants to. You said what chapter you Which said? part of my question doesn't make sense to you? Everything. Really? So you don't know English then? Go learn English. You should learn the because my, my question is quite clear. Where does Allah make that claim no, which you, you're making? You told me the words when you said about... Uh, you said it was possible. What, what did you say? What chapter With did you say? Allah says, He's ala kulli shayin qadir. Do you know what that means? See, you don't know Arabic, that's the thing. You rely on translations and you're saying the translation is perfect. Even the translations that you read, will tell you that Allah, if for him, everything is possible. But obviously, we have to keep that in context. Okay, so, so, so yes? tell me, tell me what, what does this mean? No, no, do, what are you doing now? You're, you're looking at the, at the Arabic, and then you look at the translation, and then you I ignore, you, wait, wait, then you ignore all the other passages, like Surah An-Nisa 157, 158, where it says they neither killed him, nor did they crucify him. Where does it say even after life? Where does it say Eli? The same passage. It does not say Eli. Okay, say 158. 4158. Now this is this gentleman here is uh, Ahmadi a Qadiani. So they have a different interpretation. They read the same Quran, but they're interpreted differently. With Allah, many things are possible. Do you believe in any miracles of the Quran? Do you think there are any miracles at all in the Quran? Of course. Which one is a miracle? Okay. Okay. So if many miracles. What about what, what about no, no, let, let's stay on this no, no, if if Allah can do that, a miracle like splitting of the moon, then why do you think it's impossible to do any other miracles? Because it's not in nature. Why does it say that? That's what I'm asking you. It is not the nature because we see that this is what happens. It no, you said it's not in nature. I'm asking you, where does it say that? Okay, you tell me where we No, no, you made the claim, the onus is on you to prove it. Where, where seen, in the Quran does it say it's not a lost nation to take someone alive if Allah wishes to? Where have you seen anyone go up alive? Can you answer the question? First you show me. No, I don't, okay, where, other than Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who split the moon? I'm not sure, I know I'm See what I mean? You don't, I don't have to give you multiple evidences for one miracle. If Allah gives you one miracle, maybe it's only for that particular messenger. It's only for that particular prophet. Okay? But Make sure it doesn't fall. Yeah, one five four one five seven one five eight tells you about Isa alayhi salam not being killed, not being crucified, but Allah saved him. Yeah, saved him. That's it. Read it. Read it. What does it say then? Even your own translation. Read it. <laughs> yeah, we believe that he got saved. So if he got saved, how did he die? He came off the cross. Oh, he was on the cross. Because the Quran also says that we gave Jesus and Maryam a resting place in the east. A resting place? Yes. Where, where, is, that, where is that in the east? According to your belief? Uh, it's near uh, India. Ah, India. Yeah, and who told you that? Uh, this is what we know. From whom? We know that because of the, uh, the shrine that was off for Jesus. Whose shrine? Jesus' shrine. Jesus' shrine. Yes. Who built the shrine? Uh, the, the, at the time of the people that were living with Jesus. Give me disciples. one person who actually has, has built the disciples also went to India. They, 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 but they were new disciples. New the disciples. Can you name any Jesus. one of them? What have to name any of them? Because you said you're disciples. So I don't name one. Them, but there are so you know the shrine, but you can't even point to one disciple. Wow. Yes. So you told me this is a Qadiani belief that Isa alayhi salam, Jesus died in India. He, you know, it's unfortunately this is what they do. They make up things. You're just up just like the the Qadiani who is uh, your yeah. what do you say the, you know, the messenger okay. they don't believe in the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam being the last messenger yes, so what they say they say they say, say Bulam Ahmed Qadiani was the last messenger was he a prophet according to you he was a subordinate prophet was he a prophet or not when Jesus comes he's going to be a prophet is he a prophet or not answer the question first you answer the question when Jesus comes, <laughs> I'm asking you the question is Bulam Nabi sorry Bulam Ahmed Qadiani a prophet of Allah or not? Yes, he is a prophet. Okay, so who is the Akhir Anbiya according? Who's the Akhir? Who's the Who's the Khatimul Anbiya? Khatimul Anbiya is Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay, what does the Khatimul Anbiya mean? 
it means the final, the seal, the seal. Okay, so if somebody is a final, can somebody be after the final? Yes, of course. So then it's not final then? Of course it can. Okay, what is the, what is the final message, what is, no, the, what is the final revelation? Okay, one second, you're talking too much, okay? No, listen, well, okay. I have to talk because you're giving all nonsense, what you're all doing falsehood. Is lying dying in India, you're on lying. the cross. Like Which part did I lie? You're lying. Which part did I lie? You're saying that uh, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is not the last prophet, that we don't believe that. You said that. Did you not say he's a, he's a prophet, the Ghulam Nabi Khadiyah? What did I say? He's a new prophet. Oh, oh. so what kind of prophet is he? He's a poor prophet, prophet that came before Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Who came before? He did not come with no teaching. So you, he did not come with are you saying before. Ghulam Ahmed Khadiyah was born before you Muhammad? Listen, you doing, just lying Can you answer the question? Instead of you being it's emotional. Problem, okay, like look, you. if you don't want to answer the question, that's fine. That is what happens when you yourself are projecting your lies upon us. Ghulam Ahmed Qadiani, according to you, was a prophet. Yes, but, a but you also claim at the same time that the Khatimul Anbiya... Where are you the, getting your teachings Can I finish? No, no, can no, I finish? No, no, don't where, tell me then. Where are you getting your teachings from? Why should I talk to you if you don't want me to You're complain? getting your teachings from Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia? Saudi Arabia is the one that's <laughs> telling you all the teachings of Islam. How do you know that? Because after yeah. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam died... You know, for me, the Quran the has got nothing to do with Saudi Arabia. The, the Quran... Which the he doesn't even know, which he doesn't read in Arabic. Yes, he doesn't read in Arabic. He doesn't even know what, when I said, Allahu ala kulli shayin qadir. Yes, he doesn't even know that simple understanding of that. Okay? Who killed the grandson of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa No, no, don't change the topic now that you have lost the argument. The argument was this, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the last messenger, which he already conceded. But then he said, Gulam Nabi, Gulam Ahmed Qadiani is also a prophet of God. Look, you anyway, the, you know, all this gobbledygook and all is, the is something we don't want to hear. We got nothing to do Quran, with your lies. That's all I'm saying. And it's against the Quran. So stick to the Quran and the Sunnah. You have the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is Khatimul Anbiya, which he already admitted. But then how can Ghulam Ahmed Qadiani be a prophet as well? You don't understand the concept okay, so when, of the finality of the prophet. Okay, listen. If Isa is sitting up alive in the heaven now... I'm going to answer your question if, if you don't answer my question. Why should I? I'm going to answer your question if you don't answer mine. I've answered if so the, many questions. No, if the, final, if the finality of the prophethood ends with if Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then Ghulam Ahmed Qadiani is a false prophet. He's a false prophet. He said, you know, Ghulam Ahmed Qadiani, he said, I'm going to write X number of books. He did not even complete those books. Okay? <laughs> he can't even complete. They say that Isa Alayhi Salam died in, the, in India. That is called brainwashing from your Ghulam Ahmed Qadiani. A false prophet. You know, Every prophet Arabian after the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a false prophet and, and that is a reality. Okay? Khatib al Why are you obsessed with Saudi Arabia? Saudi Arabia? Why are you obsessed with Saudi Arabia? Saudi Arabia did not... It's got nothing to do with your Aqidah, whether Saudi Arabia is there or not. Our Aqidah is based on the Quran and Sunnah, nothing to do with the country or not. So anyone who says any prophet exists after Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a lie. And this is the Qadianis. You know why? You know why the Muslims have rejected the Qadianis? Because of the lies like this. That they, they, they say that they accept Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as the last messenger. But in the same breath, they'll tell you, Ghulam Muhammad Qadiani is the prophet of God as well. Okay, let, that is a blatant let lie. Me ask you a question. No, I'm not going to answer your question because you're a liar. You're, you're like the Dajjal. You know, like the Dajjal will say, Masih Dajjal, they'll say, I am the real Messiah of God, if, if right, but then he's going to make you, and you know, by his deception, and make you make? believe you his magic and all that. Now you're repeating what I'm repeating because you've got nothing to say. The reason they believe a false prophet is because they are not Muslims. And that's the reason they are not Muslims, the Qadianis. Okay? So Alhamdulillah, you see, you see, that is the reason Islam, Sunnah Islam, Sunnah Islam is going to sta stand upon the hut and not upon fringe elements like these guys who are just here to spread the lies about Ghulam Ahmed Qadiani, who is a false prophet, not a real prophet. And this religion of that is a false religion called Qadianism, Ahmadiyya, whatever they want to call Okay. Anyway, Jazakallah Khairan. Assalamu alaikum. Rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We don't speak to liars. Go away.